good day and merry almost christmas my friends so happy to have you here see all of your beautiful faces as you can tell the christmas tree still needs to be decorated but that is not what is important today today what is important is bitrate and the reason i want to talk about bitrate is because about seven months ago i posted a video about your fuzzy stream and how to make it look more crisp and clear and because that's such a broad topic and there's a lot that goes into it i couldn't dive into each piece individually but one of the main questions i got in that video is here's my internet speed what bitrate should i use so today i want to take a little bit more time dive into that question, answer it for you guys, but do it more of a speedy fashion. Going forward, I wanna make my Tuesday uploads more of a quicker video. Just some quick tips about streaming or whatever it is that I can give to you guys. Kind of like a Peter McKinnon two minute Tuesday. However, he never sticks to his two minutes. But that's why we love him. So anyways, I'm not gonna have a time limit for these videos. Today's will probably be longer because I'm explaining this right now. However, going forward, just some quick tips on a Tuesday. I don't know what we'll name this series yet. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. Anyways, getting into bit rates, I know that's what you're all here for. To understand what bit rate you need to use, you first need to understand what your streaming software is asking of you. In the bit rate section, it's going to ask you to input a number in terms of thousands. So for example, I could input four, five, or six thousand. But what does that mean? What it doesn't mean is that I've now input a number called 6,000 bitrate. What it does mean is I input a bitrate of 6,000 kilobits per second. That is a the measurement they're asking for. Okay, so now that we know that your software is asking for a bitrate in terms of kilobits, how many kilobits should we use? And to answer that, we first need to understand how the number we're inputting into the software affects our internet overall. When looking at your internet speed, which by the way, if you don't know what it is, you can go to speedtest.net, click go, and it'll give you your download and upload speed right on the spot. You're gonna take that upload speed and read it in a measurement of megabits per second, which this number will appear much, much smaller than your bit rate you enter into your software. And that's because the kilobit we mentioned before is a smaller unit of measurement than a megabit. How much smaller you ask? There's exactly 1,000 kilobits in every megabit, which once you can understand and grasp that concept, it's actually pretty easy to figure out your bit rate you should use moving forward. Let me give you a quick example. Let's just say my internet upload speed is 10 megabits per second. It's not, it's higher, but we'll say it's 10 because it's easy. And then from that point, and you take in consideration the general rule of thumb of leaving a headroom of around three megabits per second, when inputting my bitrate. So in theory, considering I have an upload of 10 megabits per second, I can input a number of 7,000 kilobits per second into the bitrate section, which equals to seven megabits per second. So right there, that tells you I'm using seven of the 10 megabits my internet provides me. And the reason you wanna leave a headroom of at least three megabits per second when inputting your bitrate is because you need to leave room for error. Say there's other people in your house that are using the internet, or if you have shared lines like I do, there's other people in the area using your internet, or you just have pretty unreliable internet overall, this leaves enough room for error to where it won't affect your stream with fuzziness, graininess, dropped frames, and you should be rest assured that at least your internet won't be the cause for error or dropped frames throughout the duration of your stream. Now that you guys have a better understanding of what these numbers mean, what exactly should you set your bitrate to? And that's gonna come down to a few factors. One, are you streaming on YouTube or are you streaming on Twitch? Twitch is going to cap you at a bitrate of 6,000 kilobits per second. So if you have an upload speed of anything over nine megabits per second, you should be able to hit that no problem. Also note that 6,000 is typically the minimum requirement for a 1080p stream. If you're streaming at only 720, then you can lower that bit rate to around 4,500. Or you can keep it at 6,000 if your internet allows it and just get a sharper looking 720p stream. Now when it comes to YouTube live streaming, you can virtually set your bit rate to whatever number you want. YouTube doesn't have a cap on the bit rate you can put on your live streams, but unless you have crazy fast inner speeds or gigabit internet, then that's really irrelevant to you. But if you do have crazy fast internet, then Go wild. I know people will set their bit rate at 18,000, which as we talked about earlier, divide that by a thousand, they're outputting an upload speed of 18 megabits per second. Editing scar in here. I just want to make note that just because you can technically shoot that bit rate up as high as you want, I would not recommend going up to that 18,000 or 16, 12, or maybe even 10,000 bit rate for those of you who are gaming and streaming on the same PC. So just because you can, doesn't mean you should. If you're on a dual PC setup, however, then 
go crazy. You know your PC's limits, or at least you should. So take all this into consideration when deciding your bitrate. So just one last reminder, if you're trying to output a 1080p stream, the minimum bitrate you probably want to be at is 6,000 kilobits per second, which would equal your six megabits of your upload speed. And like I said, taking into consideration of the three megabits of buffer room, that would mean you need at least an upload speed of nine, maybe 10. However, if you have an upload speed that is lower than those values, then I would probably bump your stream down to 720, subtract your upload speed by three, times it by a thousand, and put that as your bitrate. So anyways, I tried to explain this as best I could. I hope it helped someone out there and helped clear up what your bitrate should be for your live streams going forward. I also remind you guys, I do stream right here on this channel starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Thursday, and I stream on Saturday mornings as well. So pop on by, ask me any questions that you wish, or just sit back, enjoy the chat, enjoy the gameplay whatever you want and also if you're into gaming related content i do have a second channel here on youtube called scar and plays link will be down in the description go ahead subscribe to that channel as well i do not stream over there but i upload content from my past live streams over on that channel so be sure to check that out as well but don't subscribe over there before you've subscribed here already obviously but anyways that's all i have for this one this will definitely be one of the longer quick tuesday uploads again let me know what we should call this series down in the comments down below. Past that, that's all I have for this one. I'll catch you next one.